In this video, we're going to look at how to check your multiplications. And we're going to use just a quick check, which is by looking at the last digit of the last number. So, Matt says that 23 times 17 is 392. Is he correct? Well, I can see straight away that he's not correct. The reason is, if you look at the last two digits of the multiplication, you've got uh, 23, so let's look at the 3, and 17, let's look at the 7. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Because this ends in a 1 and not a 2, as his answer does, I know that he must be incorrect. Let's actually do the multiplication out in full, just to see what the answer would be. Okay, so if we do 23 times 17... Let's just use the grid method for this. 23, 17. Ten times uh, 20. One times 2 is 2. Add on your two zeros. 1 times 3 for 10 times 3. Well, 10 times 3 is 30. Uh, 7 times 20. 7 times 2 is 14. Add on your 0. And 7 times 3 is 21, which we just done to check the multiplication. If we add these up together, you'll see we've got 200, 140, tw uh, 30, and 21. Okay, so you can see that the 1, the last digit of the multiplying the last two digits, ends in a 1. So if we add these up, we're going to get 1, uh, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 2 is 9. And three. So the answer was actually 391, and he was actually one out. So a quick way to check the multi uh, multiplication is to multiply the last two digits and just see if that ends in the same, your answer ends in the same number as actually what the final answer should end in. Let's have a look at some of our questions. Okay, so we've got 18 times 12, and the question says, what does the answer end in? Well, because you've got 18, which the last digit is an 8, and you've got 12, and the last digit is a 2, if you multiply 8 by 2, you get 8 times 2, which is equal to 16. So that means that our answer, if we actually done this, 18 times 12, the last digit in our answer would have to be 6. Let's just check. 18 times 12 is equal to 216. And notice that ends in a 6. Okay, just a quick word of warning though. Here we've got 23 times 19. Um, if we were to multiply the last two digits, the 3 and the 9, well, 3 times 9 is equal to 27. Now notice it ends in a 7, so that means our answer must end in a 7. The answer does end in a 7, so it doesn't mean it is wrong, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's right. If you were to do 23 times 19, the answer is actually 337, so this number here should be a 3, okay? There. So, the last number check is quite useful just really quickly to check if the answer could be right. It doesn't necessarily always mean that it is right, okay? You actually probably need to do the multiplication to check the rest of it.